Stereo WK, consistently better rock, and we don't wreck it with talk. 7.30 now. WK 106 FM and AM 13.8. Rocking out with Foghat, Johnny Van Zant Band. That was Keep On Rolling. And uh, Pete Townsend, a little is enough. It's hump day, 735, and Rob Williams in next. The diamond stores where you go before you give your love a diamond. It means a lot and sales you got the confidence to buy. Sometimes.
Sometimes it's not easy to pay for a diamond all at once. That's why at Zales, the diamond store, we often suggest layaway. As long as what you buy remains in layaway, you can spread your payments out a little at a time with no interest, no carrying charges. Suddenly, a dazzling diamond, an exquisite timepiece, or a timely piece of jewelry becomes more affordable. No one knows more than the diamond store. World's largest jewel, where an easy way to pay is layaway. And the diamond store is safe. Is it the boss on the phone right there? Oh, good. I was going to tell you, I got nailed about... Uh, I was doing news in Dallas, I guess it's about uh, ugh, three years ago. Right? I was like morning news anchorman at an all-news radio station. Never really had a chance, of course. but it was. And I said, well, it's Wednesday, it's hump day. I'm Rob Williams. Good morning, everybody. And uh, speaking of hump day, here's Beth Rose. And Beth was the girl that came into Detroit. She was like the traffic girl. And boom, next thing I know, like... Here's your paycheck, goodbye, type things. I haven't said a hump day on the radio in, you know, it's been just about three years. Well, uh, let's not belabor the point. <laughs> well, I mean, most, they, they took it in the wrong, in the wrong context, I imagine. Right. You know, in Dallas, they just didn't have a sense of humor. St. Louis, they know what you're talking about. Well, exactly. it's hump day. Middle of the week. Middle of the week, downhill, downhill from here. This. That's right, that's right. You know, over the hump, as it were. And that, that comes from railroad talk, you know. When they, when they hump trains... When they uh, are like sorting rail cars out to b make up different trains, you get a whole train load of cars, and you want to make three or four little trains out of one big train. They do what's called humping them. They back them up, and then they get to the top, and they disconnect them, and they roll down a certain, and they go off on some little siding. Mm -hmm. I assume that means you know the mid. That's like the middle of the yard, and uh, well, anyway. It's good to know we're safe. <clears throat> Yeah, it really is. It really is. I mean, a much more liberal audience. And I'm Rob Williams through St. Louis Morning News. The seventh hijacking in two weeks and the first in ten days since the federal government announced there would be no more hijacking, since security would be beefed up, sky marshals would be put on planes, and so on and so forth. Guess what? Didn't happen. Didn't work last night. An Eastern Airlines L-1011 jumbo jet with close to 275 people on board went from New York to Havana. And then it went to Miami, where it was supposed to go in the first place. They say three Spanish-speaking men. I mean, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot to say, uh, I think they were Cubans. I think they were Cubans. The government will not officially say they were Cubans yet. Uh, went, got on this jet, and they poured gasoline in the aisles after the thing took off and said, we're going to Cuba. And they said, okay, we're going to Cuba. <laughs> no sky marshals on the uh, airplane last night. You kind of wonder, though. I mean, couldn't they have, like, rolled the airplane and, and thrown everybody out of their sand? Uh, Anyway, in, in Poland, communist leaders issued a, a veiled threat today, warning of a possible Soviet intervention in the 14-day-old strike if it is not ended soon. And a front-page editorial of the Communist Party newspaper in Poland, that's Tribuna Ludu. Meanwhile, striking workers say their ranks have swelled to more than 500,000, and they say talks with communist negotiators have been fruitful and that more negotiations are set for today. No comment as of yet, if you have not noticed from Washington on what's going on in Poland. Indiana Congressman Lee Hamilton uh, says that the administration really doesn't want to say anything. They don't want to, we don't want to set off the Soviets. I mean, if we set the Soviets off and they invade Poland, I mean, you know, we'd have to, um, like, you know, invade Poland or something. And there are enough Polish people in this country. I don't think they would uh, appreciate an awful lot. Soviets rolling over their country for the, uh, one, two, three, four, about the fourth or fifth time this century. Herman Talmadge, longtime Georgia senator. He has been in since, oh, about 1956. His daddy was governor of Georgia. Herman Talmadge had a problem with a divorce, had a problem with alcohol, had a problem with weird campaign, funny money in his campaign, and did he spend it or who spent it, and how did it get into the pocket of his raincoat? Georgia voters trust that man. They know him. They better after this. He won a primary runoff yesterday. We'll face a Republican come November. The vote that they took yesterday in Alaska, well, at last we heard it was kind of 50-50. I realize it's, it's about uh, 8, 7, 6, well, it's about 4 o'clock this morning in Alaska right now. And uh, so they're not quite awake yet. Maybe I'll, I'll try to give them a ring next hour. We know some radio stations in Alaska. Don't you know a couple folks? Well, you know, you know well, we'll make, maybe call some people up and make, make new friends. I, anyway, we might uh, get the results of that. And they were thinking about they're going to form a commission of some sort to uh, investigate alternatives to statehood. The nation's largest consumer organization, the Consumer Federation of America, is endorsing 31 candidates for the House and the Senate this fall. And guess what? None of the 31 is a Republican. 
Uh, Michael Portorzer is the uh, legislative director for the group. He says the matter of fact is the GOP platform this year is very anti-consumer. Uh, he said we're not going to contribute any money to campaigns, but we do publish the voting record of Congress on consumer issues. Among those the Consumer Federation is endorsing is its former executive director, Kathleen O'Reilly, who resigned her post to run for a House seat. She is the brother of uh, former Army Corporal Walter O'Reilly, better known as Radar and MASH. And it was 121 years ago today that it finally hit. The, what it finally hit was oil. The they were Edward Drake, and the whole mess was up near Titusville in western Pennsylvania. 1859, the first oil well was struck in America. Can you imagine 121 years ago? I mean, gasoline, they didn't have gasoline, didn't need it. And little horses. And the big deal about cars were it would get rid of all the horse pollution on the streets of St. Louis, and that's why they got cars in here. No fooling. The Astros beat the Cardinals last night. No fooling on that. One grand slam did kind of make the difference. I mean, that, that was four runs right there. Otherwise, it would have been three to two, which is not that shabby. Uh, Jim Cott actually had a home run uh, for us, and uh, Cesar Cedeno had a grand slam for the Astros, which is kind of like Jim notched his sixth loss of the year. I'm going to run into those cuts by the football Cardinals if you've not heard them yet. We cut six players, but three on the injured reserve list yesterday. We got down to the roster limit of 50. Now, to the surprise of many, we kept all three backup quarterbacks. Steve Pizarkowitz, Rusty Lish, and Mike Lloyd are still battling for two backup spots behind Jim Hart. Jim Hannafin did a cut punter Marv Bateman, a six-year veteran. Also cut rookies Jim Ramey, a defensive end. Steve Henry, a defensive back. Otherwise, uh, let's see, where'd they go? And other, other rookies include uh, Grant Hudson. He used to work at CKLW in Detroit. Uh, guard Mac Jones and defensive back Gary Hayes. The Cardinals put guard Terry, Steve, tight end Gary Paris, and wide receiver Jim Childs on the injured reserve list. And we'll tell you, John Fulgham is throwing for us tonight. And um, Ken Forsh, Bob's brother, is throwing for Houston. And uh, there was something else. Oh, we're getting to the other case. John Stenerud is not working anymore. Gary Apremian is not working anymore. It's uh, who else? Mike Bragg and Ken Clark and Jim Turner. All these NFL kickers are not going to be kicking this fall, apparently. Nobody likes the way they kick anymore. I'll be back with another Kick in the Newscast uh, in about an hour. I'm Rob Williams for the St. Louis Morning News. Save the time, do it up. Save money, everyone. Do it up. Hi, this is Terry David Mulligan, coming to you through the magic of radio with news about the Gap's Great Britannia Sale. The magic of radio? Well, there's magic in the Gap's prices on guys and gals Britannia jeans. Okay, I'll buy that. Okay. The Gap's one of the world's largest sellers of Britannia jeans. So far, so good. And guys and gals Britannia jeans are on sale throughout the store. Oh, they're almost giving them away, right? Not quite. But how's 20% off regular price for starters? Oh, you have a way with words. A little applause would be fine. Please, just tell them about the Britannia Sale. I just did. There's Britannia's on sale at 20% off regular price, and they've got them in every shape and size. The Gap's got it all. Except an announcer. Get that do it up Fall into the Gap. Right now, the Gap has Levi's men's corduroy flare jeans. It's just $14.99. That's right, $14.99. Hurry, sale ends August 31st. Fall into one of the 11 St. Louis area Gap locations, including the newest Gap store in South County Center. 744 already. Public invited to the fall dog show, sponsored by the Jefferson County Kennel Club. That's coming up September 6th at uh, Springdale Park. That'd be partly cloudy, high 95 today. Cloudy, a little cooler tonight, down to 63 then. It's 77 now. Neil Young on Stereo WK.
loving your life and you just can't make it. So close yet so far to white light, black star. FM and AM 13.8. I'm Neil Young in touch. Of course, we've got Neil today at noon. Uh, noon Rocks from FM 106 and a St. Louis Classic coming up here pretty soon. Uh, Leslie West and Mountain going to do Mississippi Queen for you. 7.53 already. Amico presents The Sounds of Summer. Purr, purr. Gee, car engine, I haven't heard you go purr, purr all summer. You're always going... Knock, knock. Yeah, and... Ping, ping. How come you're going purr, purr now? I'm doing an impersonation of how I can sound if you take the Amico One Tank Test. Purr, purr. Well, what's the Amico One Tank Test? Uh, just let the gas gauge get down near empty. Oh, where and it says park? Uh, no, that's the gear shift oh. where it says E. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> then get one tank of Amico Premium Lead-Free Gasoline. My car only has one gas tank. That's all it's supposed to have. But one full tank of Amico Premium Lead-Free could stop the knock, knock, the ping ping right away without an expensive tune well, what makes you so sure amico premium has 92 octane ordinary lead freeze only 87 that higher octane is what can do it okay let's try the amico one tank test then i can go purr purr oh, that's a very good impersonation well, if you think that's good you ought to hear my bogey <clears throat> play it again sam and i also do amico premium lead free the quiet gasoline it silences the sounds of summer Introducing McDonald's new Nutsy Sunday, the Sunday that's sprinkled with nuts. They sprinkle nuts on dark hot fries. Rich hot caramel. Or oh, tangy strawberry. McDonald's Nutsy Sunday. It's as nutsy as can be. McDonald's new Nutsy Sunday. It's not just a little nuts, it's a lot of little nuts on hot fudge, hot caramel, or strawberry topping. Try a cool, refreshing Nutsy Sunday at McDonald's. Hot fudge, creamy caramel, or delicious strawberry topped with loads of crunchy nuts. Nutsy Sundays, only at your participating McDonald's. Kim, Wendy, Kelly, and Jude. Tonight, they'll be more beautiful than ever. Because tonight is prom night. Kelly. And someone will come to the prom alone. Why? Just to watch them dance. To see them fall in love. To see them die. <laughs> prom night. If you're not back by midnight, you won't be coming home. Rated R. Starts Friday to theater drive-in near you. Check your newspaper for showtimes. Yeah, it's going to be partly cloudy at a high 95 today. Cloudy down to 63 tonight. Up to 77 already. Here's Charlie Daniels' band on Stereo WK. <laughs>
St. Louis has some of the best rock radio in the nation, and we're proud to be St. Louis's favorite rock station. KWK St. Louis, WWWK Granite City St. Louis, Stereo WK. We'll always listen to you. It's 8.02 now.
6 FM at AM 13.8. Heard a St. Louis classic with uh, Mountain and the Big Man, Leslie West, Mississippi Queen. Some uh, Rush and Barry Goudreau of Boston. It is 8-11 already. This is Bo. Anything we can get for you. Input lines open, 969-7070. On the east side, it's uh, 399-7070. Here's Gamma on KWK Stereo WK. <laughs>
18, Alan Parsons Project on Stereo WK. WK 106 FM and AM 13.8. Some Gamma sniffing the tears and Alan Parsons Project. And my robot wouldn't want to be like you. It's 822 already. Stereo WK going to be featuring Neil Young today on Noon Rocks. Only from FM 106. Six Flags. There's never been any reason for you to think about me. 
there's a good reason for you to head to Six Flags this Friday night. It's Head East in concert at 6 and 8.30 p.m. It don't mean too much to me What you do or who you see I believe I'm here at three So love me tonight The concert stage is their home and their raucous, explosive energy translates into a powerful night of music at Six Flags. Head East is just the beginning of the sensational Labor Day weekend at Six Flags. Don't miss it, because after Labor Day, we'll be open on weekends only. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, I'm out of my head, can't take it. See Head East in concert this Friday at 6 and 8.30 at Six Flags. Can you see those two girls? I see them, but I don't believe them. Quick, think of something to say. How about, uh, love your Britannia jeans? Will you get serious? Hi, guys. Love your Britannia jeans. I think this could get serious. Live in Britannia. People who know how to live, live in Britannia. Jeans, jackets, shirts, life. See the Britannia Back to School Fashion Show today at the Chesterfield Mall. It'll be partly cloudy, a little bit steamy, high 95 today. Uh, cloudy, cooler, down to 63 tonight, up to 78 now. Eddie Money on Stereo WK.
watching me fall down <laughs> She wants a good life, oh, all the best But I like that bottle better than the rest And she said, I think that you're headed for a whole lot of trouble Well, I think that you're headed for a whole lot of trouble Well, I think that you're headed for a whole lot of trouble In the nighttime, we have strange memories Seems a lifetime since yesterday Come the day